Hey traders, welcome back to the channel. We have another Forex Miss vlog video for you here today. It is December 14th. We are going to keep our daily videos rolling all the way up to Christmas morning. So today we're talking about the value of 20 pips. I think a lot of traders, because of social media, because of the internet, they get caught up in the sauce. They get lost in the sauce and they think that they need these 100 pip, 200 pip, 300 pip trades to make money as a trader. Newsflash, you really don't. If you have a big account, you could trade bigger lots and you don't need as many pips. That is the simple math that we're gonna break down here in this video. So if you're new to the channel, if you're new to the feed, hit the red subscribe button below me. Give me a big like, give me a big comment, say what's up. That way we can hopefully reach more traders and help other traders make better trading decisions going forward. So let's flip over to EURUSD. This is a trade from last week. You can see we broke out here off the 21 EMA and some of our traders in our VIP were long here. The stop loss was only five pips and it ends up moving, as you can see, about 20 pips, almost 21 pips by the end of the day. I wanna to talk to you about this trade because it's got a lot of value in it if we're going to emphasize the power of 20 pips. Now, before we break down the math, the idea of getting 20 pips on every trade isn't the point of this video. The point of the video, like I said, is to emphasize to you that you don't need 100 pip movers. You need consistent 15 pip, 20 pip, 30 pip winners with big lots behind them. Because if you're doing that, again, simple math, if you're doing that and your system is profitable, like ours, and it's tested and proven profitable, not just you saying that it is, it's proven, you did the back testing, you know it's legit. If you're in that position, all you need is bigger firepower. You don't need these massive moves. You don't need to hold overnight and pay a swap. You don't need to hold overnight and be susceptible to Trump tweeting something. You don't need any of that risk. You need to be in and be out. The saying of our group, I'm not wearing the shirt today, but it's do less, do it better, do it bigger. What that means is trade less, trade better, and trade bigger. And I mean that. So if we break down just the simple math here, like I told you, the stop loss is about five pips. This moves about 20. If you were trading a standard lot on this trade on EURUSD, that's 100,000 units of currency. The risk here is only 50 bucks. The reward would be $200 if you were able to hold through the entire day to the 20 pip take profit level. That's a four to one risk reward, which is fantastic. I'm sure most of you would risk five to make 20 every day of the week, right? But most of you won't. Most people, when they first start trading, are broke. I was, most of you were, I know that's the case. That's why I'm addressing it. When you first start trading, especially if you're using a regulated broker, like I tell you to, with your first couple hundred dollar account, you're probably not going to be able to even place one standard lot. Your positions are going to be smaller. Smaller positions get you greedy. They lead you to over trade. They lead you to chase trades and that builds bad habits and it kills new traders before they even start their career. So what do you do? two things. It's a mindset and it's a technical thing. Let's talk about the mindset first. For me, once I made this mindset shift and I made, I flipped the switch off, flipped, flipped the money switch off and the percent switch on. Once I did that, if you remember the previous video, you get my reference. Once I did that, I understood all I needed was more money in my account. This same move that I'm showing you right here, 20 pip move on Euro USD, paid somebody who was trading a standard lot $200. But there was a guy couple hundred miles away who was trading a hundred lots and he had to risk 5,000, but he also made $20,000 on that same trade. Now you're saying, Austin, how did he make 20,000, but one guy made 200? Well, because the guy that made 20,000 had more money in his account to play with, risking the same percentage of his overall account, because it's always based on a percentage, using that same stop loss, the same entry signal, the same take profit level. He made way more money only because he had more money in his account. You don't need to try to go get these huge trading moves, guys, these 100 pip runners. You don't need it. You need more money in your account. You're broke. That's it. Wake up. Accept the reality. I talked about this last week. It's the advice nobody wants to hear. I started so broke and then I lost money for the first 18 months. So I know the pain that you're going through. But here's my advice. Talk about the technical aspect of it. Not only do you want to win these trades whether they're small, medium, large, however you want to define them with a relative term that will change over time. That's why I don't like to use those words. But however you want to define them, if they aren't satisfying to you yet, the best thing you can do is continue to practice them, meaning hit them with the live account with appropriate risk. Even if the money is small, stay trading the system correctly. Hit the entries, hit the stop loss, hit the take profit, and don't chase trades just because you didn't make a lot of money. The market doesn't care. It doesn't care that you didn't make a lot of money. It just gives you the setup and wants you to act on that setup. So what you can do while you're taking those small winners and adding them up, small winners, and adding them into your account, because they don't satisfy you yet, 
you can take your other streams of income and drive that money into your trading account too. So now your trading account is not only growing from these small, they're only small now, small winners that you see like this one, but it's also growing because you're putting an extra hundred, two, three, four, five thousand dollars $5,000 a month from your other streams of income into the account. What does that do? It gets your size bigger, faster, do less, do it better, do it bigger. So when you see traders online saying, wow, I caught this 500 pip move. Wow. I caught this 800 pip move. Don't challenge them. Don't waste your energy. Let them keep talking. They're literally fighting illogical math. I just proved to you right here how one trader could trade. Let's just say he has $2,500 in his account, right? 2% risk on this trade would be 50 bucks. Right there, 2,500 in the account, risks 50, makes 200. He made 200 bucks with only 2,500 in the account. It's a great trade. But at the same time, if you made 200 bucks for some of you, I know that wouldn't mean shit, right? Like, to be honest, some of you are big traders. Like, I'm, I remember when 200 meant a lot to me, but it changes because your account gets bigger. If you stay focused, that same move that paid you $200 a year and a half ago could pay you $20,000 today. If you just stayed focused and got your account bigger, didn't change your style, didn't go chasing big moves, just get your account bigger and do this with a regulated broker. Don't do this with an unregulated broker because what if you can't get the money out? You can't sue them. Don't risk that. Even if it takes you more time, get with the regulated broker, pump extra money into it from your other sources of income and practice the system like I'm showing you right here. Hit the repeatable entries that you know work. Use the proper stop loss. Use the proper risk percentage. Don't attach yourself to the small dollars right now just because you don't have as much money as you think you want to have to make the money that you want to make. You're not going to go from the financial position that you're in today to where you want to be overnight. It is not going to happen. I tell Riley all the time, she makes me look like an overnight success because with her efforts, our business looks like it's exploded. But in reality, I've been doing this for five years. Nothing happens overnight. Not growing your trading account, not growing your business, not growing your personal life, not growing you as a human being. Nothing happens that's really valuable like that overnight. So I really hope that after today's video, you guys have it very set in your head. I don't need 100 pip moves. I don't need 300 pip moves. I need a bigger account. It's that simple. You need a bigger account and more money to trade with. Then you could take this same trade. Man, you could have gotten out 10 pips. You would have made more money than the guy who had a smaller account and tried to go get 150 pips somewhere else. You would have made more money than him with way less effort. And let's be honest. Most of us get into trading because we want the freedom of the time. We want that lifestyle, right? Where you don't have to do a nine to five. You don't have to go do a job. You don't have to listen to somebody else, right? Why do you want to be stuck at these screens watching trades for days and days and days? I'd rather wake up, see if I find something that could present today, hit it today, be done today, and then come back and do it again tomorrow rather than staring at, like I said, screens for four or five days in a row, hoping that the trade turns around and goes in your favor to catch that big potential move that might be there, but you just don't need it. These trades are quick and painless. You can make 20 pips be worth 200 grand. I'll leave you guys with this. Keep it in mind. Three things. Do less. Trade less. Do it better. Trade better. Pick better trades and do it bigger. Get your account bigger in any way that you can. Go be a babysitter. Go pick up another job. It's the holiday season. Go carry groceries for old people at the grocery store. I don't know. Do something to make extra money and pump that extra money into your trading account. You'll be very thankful in five years, but most of you won't survive for five years. So for those of you that do, make sure when you do, you come and let me know that I helped you do so. I hope that you guys are taking some value out of this. I don't mean any of those snarky comments to jab at any of you guys. You know that I'm just trying to rile you up a little bit to encourage you to follow what I'm telling you, to not make the same mistakes that I went and made. Man, if I had just treated my first account with a regulated broker, like a savings account and just pumped money into it, I could have saved myself so much money. So I hope the video helps you guys make better trading decisions going forward. Do me a favor, hit the subscribe button below so you don't miss any of the future videos. I'm still doing daily videos all the way through until Christmas morning. And then going into 2020, we've got a lot of exciting stuff coming. The new Divergence course is coming out in January, which I'm going to be talking about a lot more. We have our NougaCon event where Riley and I are going down to Tennessee to a entrepreneur meeting there. And then in February, we're going to an entrepreneur retreat. That one is going to be amazing. It's an exclusive event in Jamaica. We got invited to go. It's going to be with seven, eight, and nine figure entrepreneurs. It's going to be unbelievable for us to go network with them. And I'm going to be bringing all that value back to you guys here in these videos. So I'm super excited for 2020. A lot of big stuff coming between the course, the trip in January, the trip in February, the seminar in March, and then something in April I can't talk about yet. Just a lot of exciting stuff coming. So I appreciate the attention always. Like I said, make sure you're subscribed. If you have any questions, just hit me up down below. I'm always here to help you guys and I'll see you in tomorrow's video.